Welcome back, all my tech maxers. Today we're going to be uh, looking at a couple uh, YouTube video trailers uh, because uh, this weekend was the the DC fandom thing event sort of uh, junction, and they dropped all kinds of stuff. Uh, so we're going to be taking a quick look see at the future of uh, of DC, and I think we're all just we're just going to do this all in one video and. Uh, that's, that's gonna be it. Oh, he's technically Mexican and three-fourths American, but for three generations he's got that nationality. Great-great-grandpa headed south, whose kids had kids then turned around. It's not what the show's about, but it's why he's Mexican technically. He knows that he was raised in New Mexico, lived in Guadalajara for two years, speaks fluent Spanish with a bachelor's degree in language and makes a new taquito. Yeah, I could have broken this down and done like six different videos, but, um, I didn't want to do that. Also, they're all, they all drop the same day, and I don't want to space it out. So you're gonna get a one monster of a chonker, and I'll, I'll drop some chapters in the, in the thingy, in the, in the down, I'll drop them, I'll drop some chapters down there. So you can skip to whatever trailer you want to, or you can just watch the whole thing, cause you love my beautiful face. Um, before we get into it, I would just like to ask everyone watching this video to please, uh, uh hit the like button, and, uh, what I really need you to do is subscribe to the channel. It's, that's the button right down there. I really need to get to a thousand subscribers so I can monetize this so I can feed my kids. And, and so my, and also so my wife will, will stop looking down on me. Please, please help a brother out. If you, if you could do that. That'd be great! Okay! <sighs> Let's get into it. Uh, so, first trailer we're gonna look at is the most exciting one, I think. We're gonna look at The Batman. Uh, we've already seen the teaser trailer that dropped like a year ago. Who knows? It's all a blur at this this point i don't know forget about it i don't know i don't know where that accent came from i've been slipping in and out of it all day um so we get our first fu full length trailer of the batman and i got to say beforehand i am excited the teaser trailer tickled my fancy it intrigued me i really enjoy the david lynch esque aesthetic that they were clearly going for with the first teaser, the um, clearly giving off Seven and the Zodiac Killer vibes, and uh, it could be really, it could be really fun to see, you know, a Batman movie that's actually a detective movie. Let's, let's go for it. So I'm excited to see this, and we'll react to it live, and let's get, let, without further delay, let's get on back, let's, let's cue it up. before you've nothing less. I don't care what happens to me. It's only gonna get worse for you. Whoa, take it easy, sweetheart. Hear everything they say, ain't you? Maybe we're not so different. Who are you under there? I got you! 
that's a that's a good shot to end on. That was yeah. Okay. Um I'm excited for it. I think it looks good. Yeah, they're clearly going for a David Lynch seven I mean, you know, like the it that it opens up with the Riddler getting captured by the police. Pretty reminiscent to a certain. If I, I don't has anyone not seen Seven? Pretty reminiscent to another person who was unbilled to keep the secret, who, who turns himself into the police, kind of uh, at the end of Seven. Uh, uh, I don't want to say it uh, for the for the like. Six people who haven't already seen a ten-year-old movie? How old is seven? Oh. <laughs> a twenty-six-year-old movie? I was... I was way off. Wow. Um, okay, whatever. This movie's not about seven, it's about Batman. Uh, that's embarrassing. Uh, what can I say? Um, it... It looks... It's... Titillating. Watching this trailer has made me titillated. That's a uh, that's your uh, Techmexer word of the day. Pa. Um. It it uh it tickled me. Uh. I'm really liking the aesthetic. I'm liking the vibe. I'm I'm a big fan of some uh, Robert Pattinson. He's more than just a sparkly vampire. The dude can act. He's done some really good dramas. Um. I'm like a huge Zoe Kravitz fan, but I feel like it's it's appropriate casting for the role. She, she's kind of I don't know aloof and Catwoman esque. That's a Catwoman esque. Uh, what was the shot I wanted to go back? This one, this one. Okay, renewal is a lie. Savage. Michelle, no more lies, Coulson, the sins of my father? Question mark? Yes, th- this is not... Oh yeah, there's ta- there's caution tape. So this is something left behind at the scene of the crime. This isn't something that Batman has set up trying to y- yarn the, puz- the puzzle pieces together. Corkboard and yarn the puzzle pieces together. Uh, interesting. There's on there's not a whole lot left to glean from the trailer. Oh yeah, uh Andy Circus. Uh Alfred, right? Andy Circus is Alfred. That's pretty cool. Uh I like that casting. I really liked Jeremy Irons as Alfred. I wish we got to see a little bit more of him. I just, I'm just a fan of Jeremy Irons. Uh but uh I like Andy Circus too. That's a yeah. That's a good Alfred, sure. Um, I don't really have anything else to say other than this is good. That is, uh, that's a good still. Um, cool. I'm excited for Batman. Definitely watching that one. Let's move on to Black Adam, because that one also dropped this weekend. Let's get into it. I think it starts with stuff that we've already seen, but, uh, we'll see. Oh, no, this is a trailer. I've never seen you. Hey, DC Fandom, and hello to everyone watching around the world. I am so excited right now to be here and to talk to you about the man in black himself, Black Adam. And the film has, without question, some of the biggest action sequences I have ever been a part of. And I am so proud and excited of our incredible team who are working away to create breathtaking, holy sh**. Now, even though we're still working away, this is DC Fandom. Now, you know me, guys, and you know, I always like to say that you, the audience, the people, you guys are my number one boss. So I got together with my director, Jama Colette Serra, and we put together a little glimpse of one of the opening scenes of the movie when Black Adam is first revealed. Now, what you're going to see here is why the hierarchy of power in the DC universe is about to change. I hope you enjoy this very first look at the man in black himself. Is it the first look? Black Adam. We've gotten some teasers before. I guess never. Okay. Shut up.
试一下。more than one bullet. You only cut one of them. They fired more than one bullet and he only caught one of them, so... We're talking percentages. It's actually not as good as you're trying to make it seem. Um, I... I don't know enough about the Black Adam property to weigh in a lot here. I'm assuming Black Adam is a bad guy. Um, I've read a, I read a lot of comics as a kid, but I never had enough money to read a lot of comics. Um, so there are a lot of gaps in my comic book repertoire. Um, so I don't, I don't know anything about Black Adam, really. It looks interesting. The Rock is charismatic. Uh, it will be fun to see him as a bad guy. I don't know if he's... Oh, okay. If you count the Scorpion King, he played a bad guy, but then they made the movie and he was a good guy. Um, it'll be interesting to see him play a bad guy. Uh, I assume this is part of, like, the Shazam corner of the world. It sounded like that's what the girl said. I don't know. Uh, I'm intrigued. I'll definitely watch the movie, and, uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes, right? What does the woman say? Let's see. She says Shazam? Shazam. Does she turn into Black Adam? It's like a Shazam thing? I don't know. I don't know enough about the property. Well, it looks interesting. Let's move on, baby. Let's see the Flash trailer. Show me that fast boy. Greetings, DC fandom and dumbers. Why is he Ezra wearing Miller a here, choker? Why from the set of The Flash? It looks like this. We're very excited to show you the movie. Uh, and we can't yet because we're still making it. We wanted to show you a teaser, but we can't because we don't have enough material to make a teaser yet. We, we can't make a trailer. Uh, but we do have this small sneak peek that my maestro Andy and I have put together that we really hope you'll enjoy. And I will see you in theaters later next year. Or more importantly, you will see me. Tell me something. You can go. Anywhere you want, right? Any timeline. Any universe. Why do you want to stay and fight to save this one? You change the future. And you changed the past. Are you in? Not a lot to go on there either. Um, I'm probably the least excited about this one than any of than the other two we've seen today. Uh, <clears throat> I know that the Flashpoint it's based off the Flashpoint comic, which is good. Um, and 
we get to see Michael Keaton as Batman. Um, I don't know. This one kind of feels like, and no pun intended here, this one kind of feels too flashy. Like the the announcements they've made about this movie um, seems like it's like, hey, let's throw everything at the wall and see what sticks. There've been a bunch of announcements and things they've they've said and kind of kind of feel like they're gauging the audience the potential audience's reaction um got a feeling it's just gonna be a lot of fan service and not a lot of substance but um i mean i'll watch it eventually i'll probably still watch it eventually um i don't know i, I think i need to see a proper trailer to actually find my bearings and and uh determine whether or not this movie looks interesting right now that not really not really sold yet but uh i do like the idea of michael keaton batman returning um so movie movie We'll see about it. We'll see about it. Not much to say. And the movie right along. The last one we got is a trailer for the TV show Peacemaker, which is the spinoff from the Suicide Squad reboot sequel thing movie that just came out. And uh I don't know. I'm not. I'm not like insanely passionate about this property either. I enjoyed the Suicide Squad movie. It was a lot of fun. I don't know. If I would, if I were to pick like any character from from the movie to do a spin-off TV show, I, I don't know if I would have picked Peacemaker. Um, he's a good character, but in the film, he definitely needed a foil to bounce off of because the Peacemaker character, as he's depicted, is he's crazy and interesting. It's a good character, but he's crazy, and he definitely needs a straight man as a foil to bounce off of. So if they're doing a TV show, they need a, some someone grounded to you know to show the comparison of his crazy antics. Um, Let's watch the trailer. Let's see. I'm, you know, and I'm not saying it can't be good at all. I'm just totally not what I would have gone with as a spinoff. And uh, let's let's see if it looks good. Jamil, you cool? What does that mean? Truth is, I'm supposed to be in prison. For what? Superhero stuff. What superhero are you? Peacemaker. Get out of here! There's no superhero called Peacemaker. Dude, I'm famous. You're a born killer with expertise in every weapon on the humankind. I'm giving you the chance to stay out of prison and work for me. Kill people. Bad people. This is hardcore. We are handling in the field. John Economist, Tech and Tactics. And this is our new recruit, Ade Bayo. You don't have to shoot people after you already killed them. Right. Who's the guy that's peeking out behind the trash can? Vigilante, he's trying to be helpful. <laughs> Our first target is Senator Roland Goff. Goff may be traveling with his family. Are you sure those two kids came out of those parents? That's an attractive couple. That one looks like it came out of them, but the other one looks like a butt baby. A butt baby. Yeah, my older brother told me there's two types of babies. One that comes out normal, and then butt babies. Worse in every way, they come out of a woman's butt. Well, I believed I was a butt baby until I was like 14. That explains a lot. There's something about him that's sad. Hey, Dad. I did my spark going to a Nancy boy like you. No, lately I'm just like a maniac. Hey, no! No! That's because we're born killers. What separates us from other killers is we only kill bad people. Usually. Unless there's a mistake. You use being a jerk as a way to push people away. <laughs> you suck at PowerPoint! But if you would just drop that... People actually might like you. Grab my phone, I don't want to move. Dad? Okay. Yeah. It looks pretty interesting. Um, yeah, they're, they're, so, so they're going to give him a team 
of people to bounce off of, and that's definitely a good idea. He needs something to ground his ridiculous character or it's going to get tiring. Um, that's, you know, and as a TV show, it might still get tiring. But it also looks like they're trying to humanize him a little bit and make him a little bit more lovable than he was in the movie, which was not very lovable. <laughs> um, which was intentional. Uh, yeah, looks interesting. Uh, more excited about that than Flash. So, yeah, okay, cool. Uh, some interesting, some interesting, uh, drops from DC fandom. Um, I'm excited for, I'm excited to see most of these. Uh, so, uh, good job, DC. I think, uh, personally, uh, even though they are kind of in a less than secure spot right now in regard to the certainty of the direction DC will be taking in the future with uh, the whole Zack Snyder verse and whatever and all kinds of acquisitions going on. No, we're, we don't really know like the, fu- the, the future state of, the, of DC as much as we do about Marvel. But I gotta say, I'm a lot more excited about what DC is doing right now than about what Marvel's doing. I'm not really excited to see any of the new Marvel movies. Which is weird because it used to be the opposite for me. I used to be a lot more excited for Marvel movies than DC. Um, we'll have to see what happens. Let me know in the comments uh, if you know anything about Black Adam. So I certainly don't, uh, but it looked like he was the bad guy. He looks like a bad Shazam. So, um, cool. Peace out. We'll see you around uh, in the next... We'll see, keep keep coming back to my... Please come back. Please come back and watch the rest of my videos. Thank you so much. Bye.